All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour with the AAR mod as Italy. Uh, we are here in 1945, and I'm trying to open up some popcorn here. Oh, well. It's a nice little bag of popcorn from the uh, popcorn factory. Not bad. Excuse me. Eh, not bad. Nice little caramel corn popcorn. Not too bad. All right, so it's been been a, what about a couple of weeks since I last recorded. Um, don't remember doing much progress besides in technology. And uh, I wanted to expand, but of course I don't have any manpower. I'm still low on manpower, sadly. Um. I can produce desert equipment if I wanted to. Interesting. Not like it would do much for my manpower, though. Though it would... The research modifier would decrease. Cost of mech, armor, and light armor would increase. Cotton... And land units in general would increase, too. Huh. I'm trying to find way to do it. I know partially, no, this won't work because of the fact that Germany didn't bother uh, doing the Treaty of Munich. Those bastards. So I'm kind of si sitting here with no manpower whatsoever. That sucks. Hmm. Trying to I'm trying to see if anything else would increase it. I know I can't get mobilization any further than what it is now. Open society won't do stuff. Um, let me see who... No, not here. I would be the armaments minister. He does give me plus five in IC, energy, and metal production. And also rare materials, which is nice. He would give me plus three, and oh, he'll give me plus five. He'll give me plus three. And industrial research time. Huh. I'm trying to find that special someone that could help me out with a little manpower. Of course, nobody will do it. Damn it. Okay, um, I do have some foreign lands. Right. For some reason, I'm thinking I shouldn't have gotten rid of Ethiopia. Don't know why. Somehow I just feel that way. Minister of Security, for manpower use, okay. But he's got two. And he's got the manpower growth plus 10%. Huh. Okay. I don't... I mean... Hmm. Okay, he would get a ten, minus 10 manpower growth. Son of a bitch. Oh, you would give me a 15. Ah, you're gonna be a fascist. I know you. I recognize your face from anywhere. Fettuccine. Uh, Fettuccine. Nice. Um, plus 15. I think Longo's also a fascist, if I remember. So I might have some fascists in my cabinet. But if it helps with the manpower growth, I might as well do it, right? I 
I mean, it's not like I can really do anything else at this point. Besides, uh, influence and do trade deals. Now, at this point, it's getting kind of, uh, tedious, I think. Okay. Oh, you're the one who's hurt my money production. I think I did the best I can. I went out to. I was too icy. I went out to actually give another IC bonus. Did I get a higher percent than two? I guess not. Alright, so I guess it would be. I think it would be you. So yeah, social liberal. Uh, okay, I. Parental autocrat. Okay, paternal autocrat. So uh, a couple of paternal autocrats, market liberals, social liberal. Eh, fairly mixed cabinet. Not bad. All right, so let's get going. Not that it'll affect my manpower growth all that much. Anyway, uh, open a can of soda. All right, cool. All right, so I've been. You know, kind of you know, taking a break a little bit from school. I'm done with school, or at least for the semester. I'm glad it's over. It was a uh, quite. A, it was interesting, but it was also a pain in the ass in a lot of ways. Um, got a couple of papers done, which was awesome. Uh, one for my total war class, and the other one for my uh, medieval class. It's quite interesting. I kind of uh, kind of want to tell you guys what was going on, so you guys don't feel no, feel angry towards me for not posting the video. Um, and concerning and concerning that my uh, papers were uh, really a pain in the ass. They were. Uh, I did one on the in my medieval class on the Byzantine perspective of the First Crusade. Yes, the First Crusade, not the Fourth. Which was uh, interesting. Had to use some source, um, some primary sources for that. Uh, very rare uh, to find primary sources for such a, an experience on the uh, First Crusade, at least from the uh, again the Byzantine perspective or the Eastern Romans. I would love to call them as, but uh, of course historians kind of disagree with that. We'll disagree with. Them. Um, and then the other one. I hmm, just want to become a little bit more open. And the, my total war class, I did it on the Balkan Wars, or not the Balkan Wars, but the Balkan Campaign of World War One, and that too was a pain in the ass, since there's not many um, sources for the, uh, at least in English, um, for that. I guess it come a little more open. I guess it could. It's like I can't really do anything else. Anyway. Let's see if I can... I can't really declare war on Bulgaria because Yugoslavia is not my ally. Club, it really just doesn't like me at this point. There, I'll guarantee you independence, though. Um, what I want to do is actually reach to. S I want to go after the Soviets if I can. Because I know they're still in the Baku region. I know if I even if I get Bulgaria it wouldn't be much because the Ottomans would still be in my way. And I know I can't really get much of a Cassus Belli on. Even if I tried.
point allow his allies to do war on right. Let's see, um... Airline battles... Actually, I want to be careless about my tags, let's see. Anybody higher? Alright, let's do that. 1945 infantry. I mean, hell, my infantry is going to be, like, updated like nobody's business, but damn. I want to use them. I want to... Get the basic light tank. Glad I figured out my tank, how to get the tanks. That was such a pain in the ass. Alright. I'll be out to that. Of course, the light tanks are, tend to be brigades, so. So here it is. Here's the medium tank brigades, and here's the light tank brigades. Just so you guys know. It's almost like it's a World War One type idea going on here. Let's see what kind of benefits it give. I didn't really see that. Heart attack, softness decreases. Organization increases though, which is kind of cool. Uh, supply consumption increase, of course. And then fuel consumption increases. Defense increase, toughness increase. And the hard and soft attack increases. And I increased a little bit more of the same ones. So, kind of cool. Interesting concept, though. Uh, I never thought I would see kind of a tank being on its own, at least uh, when it comes to this game. So, very interesting. Do some medium tanks. Armored MK3, okay. This is just early armored 36. No real uh, type. Oh, sorry, it's the M1139. Sorry, my bad. Ooh, electronic computers and all that. Cool. So, this is the secret weapon. Uh, secret project has borne fruit with math mathematicians, with uh, logistics, logic in, sorry. And uh, computer machines engineers have been joined forces, and the project manager has presented the theoretical results to the general staff. And it is believed that further empirical research can lead to a series of electronic computers. Yay! Alright, so now we got a nice little secret weapons here. 43. Research modifier increased by 5%. Yeah. So we'll just do that. Shit's great. Alright. Oh, that's right. Uh, I need to do that one too. Mount infantry. Do mount tree again. Ah, vehicle engineering too. Oh, here we go. All right. So I'm trying to figure out what what I want to do is demand my territory. Um. Hmm. See, if I could invade Persia, I probably would. Just for sh really for shits and grins as well. I know I say I've been saying that too. I could join their alliance, which wouldn't mean too much. Uh, I don't want to go up here. 
if I want to invade the Soviets. I don't want to go through St. Petersburg, aka Petrograd at this point, or Leningrad, uh, and then go all the way down here. I don't want to do that because that'd be that'd be a suicide march. And the reason I don't want to do it now, especially with Germany here, is that Germany, in my opinion, really doesn't have the manpower to really go at the Soviets. Or really, it doesn't compare. It's my fear. I mean, let's see. Uh, let me compare the National Army. As you can see here, I mean, Germany's got 107 with 41 of them being actual infantry divisions and 9 being cavalry, 4 being garrison 3 HQs and a total of 50 militia. So you, you can tell right off the bat Germany is not going to uh, put up a fight against the Soviets. That's why I've been, I've been wanting to go after Turkey or the Ottomans and then surround the Baku region so at least the Germans have a decent chance of fighting their way against the Soviets. If I can even get Greece in and then have them go after the Ottomans, I would be happy with that too. Or even hell, if I can even get the Ottomans into the alliance, that'd be great too. Um, tank 41. Let's be the. Okay, so the, this would be the M1441. I could go after Spain. But I think that'd be a waste of time. But uh, I know I've been wanting to go to war with someone. It's just Spain. It's just not the. I mean, I just don't think Spain's really worth the, you know, the time to fight them. I just don't think they're worth it. That's why I ha that's why I really haven't gone to war with Spain, or even, or even lost interest in going to war with them. If I would, I would have to get some Marines. I think if I can get... I really need to mod it, I think. Uh, I think I need to do a little bit more... I think I might do some changes here. Just because it's a it's such a pain in the ass. You know, the 5% increase ain't going to do stuff for me. Uh, I do love Geneva. Yes, I do love Geneva for the fact that I can give them belligerent. 
Sorry, ally. <laughs> of course, they didn't really get hit too badly either, though. I gave my own little puppet a uh, belligerence there. I'm so mean. I'm so mean to my ally. I don't know why. Alright, I think I know what I need to do. You know what? Let's see what I can. I want to see if I can get some trade agreements going. Um. I know I won't get much out of Bulgaria. Because I do feel bad for him. Let's see, what can they give me? Even one money wouldn't even cover it. Okay, I can't do it like that either. Huh? Oh, they just are not wanting to want to trade. They're just not open to it, aren't they? How about you guys? You want to trade? So I think we should trade. I think I need to open up something. Let me, uh... Actually, you have any metal? No? Alright, I'll take some rare resources from you guys. I don't want to take too much. I don't want to... Actually, I will. Let's see. Not sure if that's going to really do much. I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, I know I'm talking to myself right now. I'm trying to formulate a plan, an idea of some sort. I can't. It looks like it might just end on this sour note of, uh,. I hate that really continue it like this though guys I really do I mean po granted it was kind of cool seeing you know Poland killed off Yugoslavia defeated and uh, puppeted same with Switzerland and Albania just completely annexed but I don't want it it just seems so wrong just to keep going like this I feel wrong for it I feel bad. I feel horrible. I mean, let's save it. Alright, I uh, actually want to tell you guys, I want to ask you guys a question. Uh, would you like for me to mod it in the sense that uh, the Italian government changes to fascist, Germany changes to fascist, and put them in the central powers because the axes are not available, it's just central powers right here. Or do you just want me to continue as is and hopefully try to get some kind of uh, some kind of belligerence towards uh, the Ottomans or whatever. I mean, it still might continue. I want to try to bring them to the alliance if I can, but of course the Ottomans just you know, outright despise me because I think I'm just because of democratic nation. I don't know. Tell me about tell me about what you guys think. Um, I know it's been a while, but I'll try to keep uh, posting as regularly as I can and as often as possible. Um, the next semester doesn't start till January, so I got a couple of weeks of uh, time off right now. I'm also trying to get some get some work going on if I can. Um, 
need need a little bit of money. No, I do need money. So that's the uh, other uh, opinion the ass think about it. So uh, tell me what you guys think. Uh, tell me what I should do, or give me some advice, whatever. Uh, I am open to uh, to discussion here. So uh, until then, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, I'll be posting more often as I can uh, from now on. So till then, see ya.